In today's video, we are checking out the new Zeus. It's their isolated power supply that can run up to 10 pedals. What I have going today is a very simple pedal board. It's a large one and I've put the Zeus on top so it's close to the pedals so that way if it's not truly isolated we should be hearing some kind of interference and noise from it being in proximity to the other pedals. I'm also going to show you with uh, a fuzz, some heavy gain, regular kind of Marshall S type of overdrive and other pedals with different voltage requirements and obviously the one that sticks out the most is the HX Stomp because the Zeus can power the HX Stomp. So I'm not going to go super in depth, uh, in depth with all of the specs from the Zeus and all this stuff. You can go online on the NeoX website. There's a lot of details about this power supply. But essentially what you can keep in mind is that from one to six, it's a straight up nine volts up to 500 milliamps. And then seven, eight and nine have voltage selectors where it can go from nine volts, 12 or 18 volts. And the very last one here, number 10, has a variable control for the voltage where you can go from 12, 9, or 6 volts or anything in between as you sweep the knob. So this one here is very practical if you have something like a phaser, uh, maybe a bucket brigade delay, something along those lines, or even your fuzz or a distortion if you want to try to get some different tones out of it by starving the voltage. That's a great way to do it too, especially if you know like you have something like a fuzz that you prefer a dying kind of battery type of tone. This is a great way to do it because it's always constant. You don't always have to check for a battery that has just the right type of drainage to kind of to get that kind of tone. You can do it with this guy here. So let's go through the different pedals and their voltage requirement. And then we're gonna hear if there's excessive noise coming from the unit or if it can handle everything I'm throwing at it today. So first up is the new XB8. This is a tuner and a wireless system. It can do much more than this, but that's what I'm using it for today. Then we have the Surfy Fuzz from Surfy Industries. This one can run on nine or 12 volts. So I have it running currently at 12 volts through this one here with the variable control on the voltage. This one here needs 18 volts, so that's what I have selected. The Kaluna has a tube in it, so in order to function properly, it needs 500 milliamps at nine volt DC. Over here, we have the Schnobel Tone uh, Boost, which can run at either nine or 18. For today, I'm running it on 18 volts. The Fernvay from Jupiter Effects is nine volts. The harmonic trim from JHS is also nine volts. And then we all know the HX dump that requires way more voltage. So I have the adapter that takes up two spots here on the nine volt from one to six. And let's go have a listen, see if there's any excessive noise or any interference with the proximity of the Zeus. So the guitar that I'm using today is an ESP Eclipse from 1997. It has a Holy Diver and a VH2 from Bare Knuckles as the set of pickups. So basically here, this is a clean tone. So let's start with the fuzz. going to mess around with the voltage control. So I'm going to go all the way down to 6 volt. Now 
Now, depending on what kind of pedal you're using, you might hear some very drastic changes. So if this was like a germanium fuzz face, it would react completely differently to the voltage control than this one does, because this one here is based on the Moserite Fuzzrite, which is a different circuit. So it would react differently depending on the type of pedal you have in there. And even if you put something like the Kaluna in there, that might sound very different. Now we're gonna move on to the MXR Distortion. So this one here, as I stated before, requires 18 volts to operate. So without touching the volume or anything, this is the noise floor, which is pretty much inexistent. Now we're gonna be moving on to the Kaluna. The Kaluna is a 500 milliamp at nine volt DC pedal that has a tube in it. So if you wanna get this working properly, you need the proper voltage and milliamps. We're gonna move on to the boost. So up till now, everything works great. There's not any excessive noise. So the Jupiter FX Fernvay runs on nine volts, as does the harmonic trem from JHS. So the next test here is going to be to stack certain noisy pedals together and just see besides what it's generated from these pedals if the Zeus is amplifying any of it. If you have any questions about the Zeus, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you're interested in seeing more from New X, I have an entire playlist, which is gonna be appearing on screen right now. Just click on one of those videos and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Cheers.